Hi everyone, it's Steve here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about reflashing the firmware on the dash cam. So, reflashing the firmware is pretty much reinstalling the uh, firmware onto the dash cam via the SD card. Um, if you're not able to access the update in the application, um, this is another way to update the firmware. Um, what you're going to need is a SD card adapter to plug into your computer or you can look into purchasing one of these flash drives that have the SD card slot onto it. Um, once you plug into the computer, you want to go to our Zendesk page. Um, so that's vava.zendesk.com. And you'll want to go into Vava Dash Cam and you'll see that there is a um, page for firmware update via SD card. Um, on there, you'll see that there's a bin file for our latest firmware. You just want to download to any directory on your computer and then once that's done you want to place it onto the SD card. Um, you can put it anywhere, I recommend just putting it on the root directory of the SD card and you can see that once we move it on there it's pretty quick. And then once you're finished with that, um, you want to unplug the flash drive of the SD card and you want to remove it and unplug it back into the dash cam. Um, once you plug it back in, you want to make sure that you power on the dash cam and in just a second you'll see what happens with the LEDs. So you'll notice that the white LED turns on and the normally blue light will show purple. And then both of these LEDs will flash rapidly once you wait a bit and it should go for about maybe 30 to 1 minute. Uh, once that's finished, um, the LED will turn off and then you'll see the flashing blue light once again. And then that indicates that the firmware is reflashed onto the dash cam. And that's it. If you guys have any other questions regarding the process, just leave a comment down below.